Hello and welcome to today's episode of Monday's Mnemonic. In this video, we'll be going through an important topic which is most commonly asked in the university exams as well as in the Viva Voice, that is Ansa Cervicalis. First of all, what is the definition of Ansa Cervicalis? It is a loop of nerve fibers that are arising from the C1 to C3 and supplying the infrahyoid muscles. So basically, it is a part of a cervical plexus which is comprising of C1 to C3 uh, nerve fibers. It has got two roots that is a superior root which is called as descens hypoglossi. The reason for calling it as descens hypoglossi is that because the C1 that is the superior part is in close proximity to cranial nerve number 12. So the superior root is contributed by the anterior primary rami of the C1 spinal nerve. Inferior root that is descens cervicalis it is contributed by the anterior primary rami of C2 and C3 spinal nerves. Now, there is one important thing that is the descent cervicalis that is the inferior root. It is formed behind the inferior jugular vein. It winds around it and then descends along its inferior anterior surface to join the descent hypoglossi. So, this is a very important thing that is firstly the descent cervicalis that is the inferior root is formed. That is it is formed behind the inferior jugular vein, winds around the IJV and then descends to its anterior surface from which it joins the descent hypoglossi which is coming down from the C1 root. Now, we will be looking into how the ansa cervicalis is formed. Uh, this is the exact way in which if you depict or draw in your exam, you will be getting full marks. And it is a very simple thing as compared to the thing that is given the VD Chaurasia. Now, so firstly, as I said, it is made up of which rows? That is C1, C2 and C3. Now, from C1, you give uh, two fibers which supplies the geniohyoid muscle and thyrohyoid muscle. Now, there is the descends hypoglossi from the C1 and the descends uh, cervicalis from C2 and C3 which combines and this loop in a curve form is called as ansa cervicalis. Now, this ansa cervicalis gives uh, four nerve supply to the uh, four uh, muscles that is the superior belly of uh, homohyoid, sternothyroid, sternohyoid and inferior belly of homohyoid. These are the infrahyoid muscles. Also, the important thing is that the C1 is in close proximity to the cranial nerve number 12. That's why it is called as the descens hypoglossi. Now, this cranial nerve number 12 moves forward and gives rise to four branches or four parts which supplies the muscles of the tongue. Now, the mnemonic that I will tell you will give you the in the same order that is from geniohyoid, thyrohyoid, superior belly of homohyoid, sternothyroid, sternohyoid, inferior belly of homohyoid. This will be the entire sequence in which I will give you the mnemonic and it will be very easy for you to draw it in the exam and at the same time to write it in the exam. So the mnemonic is ghost thought someone stupid shot Ilio Iliana that is uh, there is a go in, in uh, there in the down you can see that there is some ghost which thought that there is some stupid person who shot the actress Iliana. All right, so this is a very simple mnemonic in which we, uh, the initials of the word stand for the uh, nerve supplying of it. That is GH stands for the geniohyoid, TH stands for thyrohyoid, SO stands for superior belly of homohyoid, ST stands for sternothyroid, SH stands for sternohyoid and I stands for inferior belly of homohyoid. All right. So once again, uh, important thing is that you need to uh, know this diagram. I have shown you in a animated way that how exactly you need to draw the diagram. Uh, and you need to remember this mnemonic once again. It is ghost thought someone stupid shot Iliana. That is geniohyoid, thyrohyoid, superior belly of homohyoid, sternothyroid and sternohyoid and last one that is inferior belly of homohyoid. That is this uh, homohyoid, sternothyroid and sternohyoid are the infrahyoid muscles. So thanks a lot for watching this video. Hope you like the video. Do share the video with your friends and subscribe to our channel for regularly getting the episodes of the Monday Mnemonic. Uh, also don't forget to uh, follow us on Instagram where I usually upload some of the things related to it. So thanks a lot for watching.